trading books and you want to go ahead and uh, kind of share virtual goods and commodities. So you can go to a trade screen and they're going to find the other device here. So Steve and Spencer, they found each other. So I can select, I can accept the trade. And now we're presented with this really cool UI here where we can drag up these and we'll say, okay, well, you have the parrot, I don't have that one. And you have the mouse, so you need that. So let's trade them. And so now why don't you help me out? Why don't you kind of rotate that around? <laughs> so that's really cool, right? And you see how fast it is. If you play with it here on the edge, you can just, I mean, going over a network or going over some reason, there's no need to. So use the local Wi-Fi and that's how we're creating this app. Can connect more than two? Yeah, so we can connect more than two. So another app we've got here is Whiteboard that I'll show you. Um, so the idea here is you launch one device, it's a whiteboard instance, um, you launch it on the other one here, and now as you draw it, share it across. So I can clear this up, and now I can launch up any device, so I can take out this one here in my pocket, which is connected on the Wi-Fi. I can click over here and I can launch whiteboard, and you'll see a message that I've connected up. So I've just joined, and now as I draw, it's shared across all the devices. And I can draw on either one of them. So this would be extremely powerful with multi-screen, right? So maybe it's an image that we load, you do some drawing things, maybe it's a uh, puzzle game, like you have to take a puzzle and move pieces around. You can start to be really creative. This app right here, Whiteboard, was created in under a day's time by one of our developers um, at Qualcomm Innovation Center. So you can quickly build out the app today and have something really cool. So one have to be hosting the other?